You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Don't be late. Give it up. Be strong and lift him up. Cause he's the power of life. Don't you lift him up. Train away. Hi, if you're struggling with your relationship or you just can't seem to find the right one, author Gerald Manuel has written an enlightening new book entitled How to Identify Your Spiritual Soulmate. You may order a copy today from Amazon.com or at BarnesandNoble.com. This book is sure to answer many of the questions you may have. Thank you and God bless you. Hi, this is Louise Smith, and I am a publisher at Kingdom Builders Publications, LLC, and you're listening to Jerry Ross Live Worldwide. You are listening to PositivePower21.org with Jerry Royce. What up? It's your boy, Kano Kingston. Hi, this is Angel Sessions. Hey, this is Kat. Hi, I'm Teresa Powell. Hi, Jerry. This is Iowa Sandro Carter. Hi, this is Paul Powell. Hello, this is Teresa Bobby with Jerry Royce Live. Hi, I'm Phil LeBurn. I'm live on the Jerry Royce Show. Hey, what do you do? This is Boy Who's the Same. Peace, this is Dolly, the poet, spoken word artist. Hello, this is Lamar Marquis with Jerry Ross Live. All right, all right, everyone. you got Robin Lynn, and I'm keeping it live right now on Jerry Royce Live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up? This is a award winning podcast with the greatest podcast on earth. Thank you for stopping by. I'm your host, Jerry Voice Live Worldwide on Internet Radio, where you get your positive on. So when it's all positive, it's all power. That's positive power. This is a worldwide podcast for growth, wealth, and success. Thank you. Think you know how drugs get in those little brown bottles? Think again. Set in the green hills of western New Jersey, inside the gilded halls of power of a U.S. pharmaceutical company where decisions are worth billions of dollars and human lives worth less. Nicholas Harding, a young executive at Marshall Pharmaceutical, finds his career family, and life in jeopardy. The Farmhouse, a suspense thriller novel by Bill Powers, published by Donna Inc. Publications, available at Amazon.com or DonnaInc.org. Go to Bill's webpage at www.authorbillpowers.com. Are you looking for the next great read? A book filled with love, passion, betrayal, and intrigue. The award-winning novel, Season of Change, by Tamika Patrice Kane is sure to satisfy your literary sweet tooth. Check out this must-read book reviewers are calling uplifting and emotional and exceptionally great read, deeply intense and thought-provoking. Order your copy today, available in paperback and ebook on Amazon.com or at www.tamikapatrice.com. Are you an author looking for promotional services or a reader looking for a great read at low prices? In this competitive world of books, Writing Royalty Promotions is dedicated to bringing authors and readers together to build a greater respect for literature through our various promotional services and online bookstore. So head over to writingroyaltypromotions.com and check us out. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and welcome to PositivePower21.org. I am feeling awesome. I am blessed. I am happy. I am Jerry Voice Live, and I'm worldwide, and you're listening to episode 350. That's right, Louise Smith. You are episode 350, owner and publisher of Kingdom Builders Publishing Company, or publications. 
All right, before we read the Wee's bio about her company and bring her on, let's hear a message from one of my devoted, voted uh, sponsors, and that would be Marilyn Dunn and her husband, Kevin Dunn. That's right, Marilyn Dunn, the, the, the gospel artist. Hi, I am recording artist Marilyn Dunn from St. Louis, Missouri. If you are looking for some soul-stirring, anointed, spiritual, and heartfelt music, visit my website at www.marilynnministries.com. Or you can also find me on CD Baby, iTunes, and Reverb Nation. For booking information, contact Mr. Kevin Dunn at 636-856-0551. That's 636-856-0551. All right, everybody. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We got a full house. Man, Louise must know everybody. Everybody in South Carolina must be tuning in tonight. And we appreciate you guys coming into our virtual studio. And for those of you who are listening to us streaming, we're streaming in over 17, 20 plus countries tonight. That's right, Monday night. Mm, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday night. And you know, I normally don't call out no dates because we run it 24-7 every day. That's right. And um, of course, we want to shout out to all the new podcasters that's coming on board. I can't forget about my girl, Sabrina Williams. That's right, Sabrina Williams out there in Las Vegas. Her show is up and streaming now. We got Tea Time coming. Tea Time is coming from Hollywood. That's right. If you know T, T Spence used to be uh, pretty much like a red carpet. Not she does do you know shows here and there, but more of an image consultant out there. You know with the stars. She's coming to Tea Time. She's actually broadcasting on Blog Talk Radio with her uh, Ebony Express. A UK host, very good shows. You want to check them out? Check out Ebony Express with Ebony and T Spencer. All right. Also, we can't forget about my girl Kimmy Robinson, and she comes from out on the Missouri area with a, a, a show called Elation, and that's that's a magazine that's uh, that's, that's hitting the, the online world, digital, and she's going to be podcasting live with us also, and my man Logan. That's right. Logan got a show, the Logan Power Show, Calvin Logan. He's also on Me TV and Cable, running all through South Carolina. And he's all he also joined forces with us. So we stream his show from YouTube so you get a chance to hear all his exclusive interviews with a lot of the small business owners and um, people that are making things happen in in the South Carolina um, thirty cities that's out there that he's broadcasting in. All right, and we got many more people coming on board. We appreciate everybody. I'm not gonna name anybody tonight. Of course, I got to shout out to Louise's husband, Linton Smith Jr. That's right. Yeah, that's right. My man plays my favorite jazz music, and he's and he's located at um, the Jam Vibes Radio. That's right, and that's out of South Carolina also, and that's online too, but but it's dot .biz. So you, you got to come out this, to PositivePower21.org to find them, y'all. So you come out to my homepage, and, and you'll see a cast of superstars. That's right. I'm putting it out there. That's right. A cast. It's just not me anymore. Because y'all know I can talk. I get on here and I broadcast all night. Just me. But tonight I got Louise Smith. What's up, Louise? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing awesome, Jerry. What about you? Oh, I'm feeling good. You know, I was off Monday. I was off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You know, I couldn't wait I'm to get on this mic. Of that. Yeah, you better be. <laughs> and we're gonna sh- and we're gonna shout out to one of your good people out there too, um, Sh- Shirley Ann. She's you know she's been hitting me up, you know. Shirley love it, love it. Yeah, love the attention Shirley gives me. Oh, Shirley, you can spoil a brother. <laughs> <laughs> she can spoil a brother. Can't can't let Nene hear about that. Nene gonna come she looking is for y'all. The bomb.com, I'm yeah, you. beautiful, beautiful love woman, beautiful. Ah. Yeah. All right, so exciting. This is exciting times for PositivePower21.org. I might just steal Shirley away from you guys, too. Don't even think yeah. about it. So I can well, hit a million I mean, that's listeners. Not my, that's not my call. I can't even say that. <laughs> that's right, because Shirley Ann's just a talent alone. That's why she's a, yeah. See, we treat everybody like a talent. You're independent. Just like I had the young lady on a day. Oh, she was so excited. Did you hear the interview with Kimberly Bowman? Oh, I didn't mm. hear it yet. I'm sorry. Oh, so those of you I was that to the you know, grind. let me tell you to the grind. Yeah, you grinding. Young girl, 
start her own publication and it's an awesome website too. Exquisite, so exquisite, so exquisite. Uh, Charleston is what she's called it. And um, if you can't remember that name or you can't spell exquisite, because <laughs> I'm just <laughs> able to say it, you can go out to our website, positivepower21.org, and you can click on it. Because we're going to be doing cross promotion. Okay. That's right, y'all. And Louise, you know how important that is. And we're going to talk all about that cross promoting, you know, how important that is right now. But right now, the first question is who is Louise Smith? Louise Smith is the CEO and founder of Kingdom Builders Publications, Ooh. LLC. And yeah. what we do is we publish. Um, books, but we do the full gamut from A to 100,000, and we do mm. it so beautifully and so cost-effective that you'll have to see what the kingdom is doing. Yeah, I saw it, too. I got a chance to meet one of your authors right there in, in Greenbelt, Maryland, Rhonda Wasn't Bella. That something? Yeah, her and her husband, Mr. Bellow. I, I, I got to say Mr. Bellow. Now, I want him chasing me down. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, beautiful couple, beautiful yeah. couple. And Rhonda um, actually um, actually went to um, one of the schools that my wife and my sister and sister-in-law attended, Small World. Wow, know? it is. It really yeah, really she is. was there about the time my sister was there, I believe. And probably my wife, my wife is actually younger than my sister. That's right, y'all. I like them young girls. That's right. She's about five, yeah. six years younger than me. I'll tell you what, okay. she is as beautiful <laughs> on the inside as she is on the outside. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wonderful, really wonderful. Warm spirit. That's right. And Mr. Bellow, he's standing right there because he don't know nothing about no Jerry voice. Like, he's, he right here. I don't even think he left the room. <laughs> wow, <laughs> my man, my man. That's right. He's a that's right. You, brother that's for right. The Lord. That's right. Take care of your wife, man. That's yeah. right. All right. So you um you the owner publisher of Kingdom Builders Publications, but we want to know a little bit about you first. Tell us a little bit about your background, how you how you grew up. Of course, we heard your your story with you and your husband about a week ago, but uh, we want to hear your story again. Who is Louise Smith? Um, how does she, you know? How did she become Louise Smith, first of well, all? Well, I was born in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, my mother mm. uh, was, um, my mother had um, four children at the time. Um, we were, um, I was adopted outside of the family, and mm. I was chosen by the surrogate woman of Marie, Marie Merritt, and my dad, Sam Merritt. And we lived in uh, Hampton, Virginia, Newport News, Virginia, mm. Lawrence, South Carolina. And then Columbia uh, was where I moved on a ministry opportunity. I was playing for, um, I was playing for a church, and the, the commute was just banana crazy. I, I like six months, I'm just too tired. I will have mm. to move. Columbia, because um, I, I really enjoyed um, the fellowship of the church, and I really enjoyed the ministry. Right. So I I came here with um, with with one of my sons. Two of my sons already lived here, and then uh, I would say about seven years later, I met the Mister Smith. Wow. Ah. That created um, the history that I now share with him. Mm, awesome, yeah. awesome man, awesome man. Matter of fact, you know, I've no, I have known you guys that long, but him and I have become very, very good friends. I can say he's one of my closest friends. Like, you know, I, of course, we have a lot in common. You know, so uh, that helps a lot. Like you, <laughs> you know, you smooth, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. yeah, he's a smooth guy. He's smooth, man. He, and I like him. He's like me. We ask a lot of questions, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to know. We got to know what yeah. we're getting into. We want to know how it works. That's right, my and man. That's the best that's way right. to be, unignorant. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> we want to know what, we, <laughs> what we're getting ourselves into and you know, how much it's going to cost. Yeah, That's see. right. <laughs> yeah, awesome, that. man. And it was funny because when I pulled up, he said he just knew that was me. When I pulled up, he was, as soon as I pulled the truck, he was standing right there. I, I was like, that's him, that's Jerry Ross. But except said, he wasn't calling you Royce. 
Because I had yeah. to train him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he kept calling me Ross. That's my that's my crazy uncle's first name, Ross. Yeah. Ross Royce. That had yeah. to get tongue twist in school. Well, his last name is is, is, is actually this, this is my stage name. Is I take I took my uh, my my name from my dad's first name. It's my voice is my dad's first name. My middle okay. name. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So you know you got you know how you got to do it when you yeah, when you're trying to become a celebrity. Man, I like it because you yeah. know when you think of Royce, you think of that hot ride. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that fat ride. There you yes, go. Yes, baby. Yeah, I want to get a ride in that thing. I, you know, I've seen a couple really nice. You know, I live around the corner from the Baltimore Ravens facility, so we see some really expensive, hot cars. I mean, wow. I, I think sometimes we even see helicopters fly by here. Because, you know, that dude's a billionaire to own that company. So, you know, we get a chance to see a lot of, you know, expensive tastes around this neighborhood, this community. You know, guys frequent the same restaurants we go to. You know, like, of course, Ray Rice was in the news big time uh, a couple months ago. And, we, you know, we see him a lot in the community. He, you know, he doesn't live that far from here. Uh, you know, still, a, you know, very good gentleman. We have an opportunity to have the kids meet him at the local restaurants. And he always oh, man, greet the parents awesome. with, with so really much respect good. and so hum. I was just so, it hurt me so bad to see him go down. Like, you just don't know how. I mean, I'm. You know, I was I was really hurting bad when it happened to him, and unfortunately, uh, society has a way of making people to, the you know they you know you can be the go to guy, but sometimes you don't always want to be the go to guy. You yeah. be the fall guy. Yeah, yeah I know. So but interesting, in, in, interestingly enough, want to know what my dream car is? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Don't you laugh, Jerry. I mean, you better mash your mouth and you better hold it tight. You're going to say a Honda Accord? My dream car <laughs> is a, uh, I can't even say it anymore, because um, I'm, I'm thinking the candy apple. Candy apple red, and it's a Civic, a Honda Civic. I knew he was going to say Honda. What? What? What did I know? I love the Civic. That's a yeah, they great, did. great car. Yeah, they did. They they kind of got kind of sporty with. It. I saw one um in the garage um the other day, and I was like, I had to do a double take because I thought I saw a Toyota logo on there, the badge, yep. of the Toyota They're brand. They're really nice. Yeah, and they're they really Now nice. I've always had American cars, mm-hmm. but you know, I, yeah. I'm believing that my, go Japan. My, my first car that I paid cash for from a dealership. Whatever year that's going to be, it's going to be a Honda Civic. All right. Hey, I'm not going. I'm not going to talk bad about you. Ah, see, you know. Better match that mode. Embrace that. That's right. Claim it. That's right. Claim it. That's, and you know they're not that great on gas. I'm not sure now. It may be it's hybrid now, but you know my wife had a a Honda Prelude. And that that car wasn't that great on gas. It, you know, it was a little wow. sports car, little two door coupe. Yeah, didn't get much out of that. Anyway, well, we we got to talk about your company now. Now, we, right. you know, we're talking about you. We're going, to, of course, we're going to get into your company in the second hour. And we're getting pretty close to that time, almost nine thirty. But, um, but as far as you, you know, we know you want to, you know, you're a simple woman. Sound like you know you talk about Honda Civic. You didn't, you know, say you wanted a Mercedes or you know, a lot of time when people made it in the world, they they have their signature cars. Um, so does that mean that you're just a you're just a very simple woman? You don't really require the luxury of life, or you just want quality, but it doesn't have to spell out. Hey, everybody, look at me! I'm driving a Benz no, or a BMW. I don't need that because my heart is happy, mm. my mind is clear. I am out to be a blessing, to be blessed. And to sprinkle that like human confetti in the world. And when it's my time to go, I don't have to have nobody fighting over this piece of something and that piece of something. Because everything that I get, I either want to use it or be a blessing and share it. That's right. And that's, now, if you call that simple, then hey, so be it. Hmm. Now, now, one thing about about you and Lynn, you guys don't sit around and brag about you know how talented you guys. You guys have a lot of talent. You you get and if I was I was Lynn, I could play that horn. I think I'd probably walk in a nightclub with my trumpet and just open it up and just start <laughs> playing on people, doing it like that. And you can sing your butt off. Now, why you didn't tell us about that when when I asked who is Louise's 
Smith, you ain't mentioned anything about that strong, beautiful voice of yours. Oh, What's man, that? I love, I love to sing. I and know. I know that there are people that can sing, ring, sing me under the table, sing me into a fit. But I'm just thankful for what the Lord give me. Mm. And I've been singing since I've been, uh, my mom says that I've been singing since I've been in the crib. Well, I can't verify that, but I can remember around four. And I used to, yeah. you know, play on flat surfaces. Mm. And, um, you know, because I, I was imitating people that played a piano, except I didn't really know what that was at that age. But it sounded musical to me. Mm. And so my, my father, he said, that gal, she either going to play the piano or she just going plumb crazy. Uh, what he did was he bought me a little 20, uh, one key keyboard, and I have it in the room right today. I still have my little keyboard. Uh, and um, one day I was just mashing all of the keys on them, every black, every white, and I was going all down the white keys, and something happened that Tuesday. Mm. And I was like, da 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 And I was just going up and down. And then all of a sudden, I went just as I am without one plea. And I, I couldn't figure. I was like, wow, how did I do that? I was so amazed, amazed yeah, that amazing. I could do that. And um, I went running to my mother, and I said, Mommy, I can play just as I am. And she said, what? <laughs> And so from that day to this day, well, with the exception of a few days, you know, I play <laughs> and sing all the time. It brings mm. me joy. And then I realized when I looked at certain people or when I looked at people, you know, they seemed to really get what I was doing or they loved it. And I wasn't liked very much in school, but everybody liked mm. when I sing. Yeah. So I, I, I know that God gave me this extraordinary gift, his beautiful gift to give away mm -hmm. and to save me from dying, save me from killing myself. Because I used to be so very depressed and very oh, really? sad mm. because I grew up an only child and I oh. grew up not feeling I'm feeling like a little conundrum, not really fitting into something. And oh, really? Wow. That's why he gave me the music. It's when, mm. it's, when I'm sad or when I'm happy, I can sing, and it's nothing but him and me mm. and perhaps somebody else who's listening in. Mm. Now, you mentioned... You know, growing up with our siblings. Now, how about in school? Did you did you feel did you have that special girlfriend that was like a sister? You know, you guys. Well, no. <laughs> no. See, my thing was okay. I was skinny. I talk funny. Um, I walk funny. You know, because mm. they said I, I walk like a teacher, <laughs> or they said you know like I I I sound British or whatever. They used to just pick at me. Um, mm -hmm. They picked up my hair. They picked up my skin. Nobody picked at me when I was um, when I was playing the piano or when I was singing. Everybody was my friend. Or if somebody mm -hmm. wanted somebody to pray for them, you know, they would get Louise to pray for you, and I would do that because that was exercising the love of God. However, mm -hmm. after that problem was solved, we'd go back to let's beat your hips. Um, but by the time I got into high school, there was a girl that gravitated to me and I gravitated to her but you know mm. they called my mother yeah. Adolf Hitler so I couldn't really have company because my mother was very protective of me and I, I do understand mm. why see my yeah. my my mother was the daughter of a slave oh so wow. that kind of mentality there was pretty harsh yeah. but then also as I was adopted my my health was you know I was I was born a preemie. In fact, when I was in the hospital just before the orphanage, I'm told that my name was Ethel Lazarus, hmm. and Ethel means warrior, and Lazarus means to come forth, and hmm. those wonderful words kind of 
I don't know, they stayed over me as a as an angel guide. I think God had them to give me that name. My That's mother powerful. named me, my birth mother named me Warnita, which is a derivative of John, which means God is good. Mm. And then when my my surrogate mother named me Louise Marie, well, Louise means heroine, and Marie is a derivative of Mary, which means right. the carrier of the word. So I've had all these wonderful names. I didn't really learn them until, you know, after I was married. Um, right. But um, I was just grateful that, you know, I had a relationship with Glenda, um, you know, as as often as I could get with her because I couldn't really have company. As I was about to tell you, I used to be sickly. I used to have grand mal seizures. Um, I used to have epileptic seizures, and I had three types, which was the grand mal, the Jacksonian, and the petty mal. And life, I, I, I'm sure that's a lot why kids, they didn't like me. They just didn't understand, you know, what the ham sandwich was going on in my life. Yeah. None of the other kids would fall out or stare or the legs mm. would just go shaky, shaky. You know, it's just kind of weird. And yeah. But what could I do? I couldn't help it. I had to deal with it the best way I could. And writing yeah. and singing were my ultimate ways to escape yeah. Yeah. myself. That's right. They were your friends. That's right. Yeah. Being creative. All right. We're talking to Louise Smith, owner and publisher of Kingdom Kingdom Builders Publications, LLC. That was an awesome story. Now hold tight, everybody. We're going to hear a word from our sponsor, James DeShea. That's right, the poetry man. Are you looking for a great book of poetry that is romantic, heartfelt, and full of male emotion? Then get Thoughts, Love, and Reflections by James K. DeShay. That's D-E-S-H-A-Y. Go to www.jamesdeshay.com. You will enjoy Thoughts, Love, and Reflections. Are you an avid reader of urban fiction, looking for drama, suspense, and more? Reads World Publishing is dedicated to bringing the world's best literature to our readers. Urban fiction, erotica, sci-fi, mainstream fiction, and children's literature are just some of the genres produced by our diversified family of authors. You can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at our website, www.reachworldpublishing.com. Hey, hey, this is director, producer Alan Wills, and I am on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Royce Live. And when I'm online, I listen to Jerry Royce Live at www.freaker.com backslash positivepower21.org, y'all heard.
All right. Kingdom Builders Publication, LLC, is an innovative, thriving, full-service Christian publication publishing company that puts your words and dreams first. Each book publishing is tailored specifically for the client. We're writing what you want to read. Kingdom Builders Publication, LLC, has growing routes of authors, visuals, sketch artists, poets, editors, ghost writers, critics, and adjudicators, personalized service, prompt courteous service, personal and top quality benefits, total publishing and marketing packages, professional advice, great looking product, distribution, and long time author publisher relationship. Wow, that's your company. Tell us about it. Tell well, us about it. How did you um, start it? We have not been in business for, you know, tens of years even fives of years. I just um, put my first shingle in 2014. I did a practice in 2013 when I published. Um, I was the first author, and um, mm-hmm. a woman sowed a seed in my life and says, you know, I'm leaving my publishing company because, you know, I was done wrong, and, you know, I'm coming to your publishing company. But let me tell you, nothing can put you on the spot more than my publishing company put me, they didn't do me right, so I'm coming to yours. You know, right. that puts you on the spot. But, um, you know, and she, she, wasn't, she wasn't the first. She wasn't even the second or the third. But the first person that came to me, you know, and I didn't, I didn't really think about it when she said, I want you to publish my book. Could you help me? I said, let's go. Let's do this. And when, um, when she did, and we, we, we did it together. You know, it was a beautiful journey. Um, well, not all of it was beautiful, but the end result was beautiful because how I many know when you're having a baby, Oh, my goodness. That is the mm. most greatest thing in the world, to be pregnant. But when mm. you're throwing up or when you're getting kicked <laughs> or when you just don't even feel like moving, when your nose is spread, your belly is spread, you know, that's not <laughs> the great part. But mm. And even the labor, even the contraction. But once the release has happened and, and the baby begins to cry, and you look at a piece of flesh that come out of you, there's nothing more gratifying than that feeling. And so mm-hmm. every time there is an author that, you know, that comes to Kingdom Builders Publications and we go through the journey step by step, and when that, when that book is presented in their hand, there is no greater feeling um, for that author, and there's no greater feeling than that of the publisher because we had a part in causing someone's dreams to come true. Mm-hmm. That's right. So I'm I'm very pleased and happy that um, while being a singer, because I mean, as my dad said, who the thunk, you know, <laughs> that I would be a book publisher, and right. you know, and just serving so many people. My company is erected differently than, um, I guess, your, uh, your traditional indie or your traditional um, publisher because I go, uh, we do such great work, and our prices is not even competitive. We don't do, you know, the high price. You know, we just, because it's about the kingdom and it's about helping someone, you know. Mm-hmm. And so that's why, and that's why we do it, and that's how we do it, and that won't change. All right, good. Now, how about the genres? What, what, what type of genres do you accept from people? We accept anything that inspires. It, um, I'm a Christian um, publication, but everything doesn't have to be God, 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 Jesus, the Holy Ghost. You know, as mm-hmm. long as it's, um, moral, as long as it's um, entertaining, you know, not, um, you know, profane or, um, I mean, there's a, you know, like God created Eros love. So I definitely do, you know, erotic or uh, romantic love. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it just can't be, you know, street and just nasty, you know. <laughs> Ain't nobody laughing, is it? 
Because, you know, there is a difference, you know. Can't be hardcore. Yeah, hardcore, triple X. Yeah, I know where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there are people that subscribe to that. But yeah, absolutely. That, um, that, yeah, that's how you learn. That's what you know. That's how the guys know how to romance the ladies. You know, read what they what they write. You know, that's, that's how we learn. That's, that's true. Right. Awesome. Now, I mean, nice. and there's not a greater romantic than me. But you know, um, I, I would be like my grandmama, who would say, "If you ain't got nothing for sale, take your sign down. You ain't got to show all your business." You know, to be. <laughs> you know, in the market. So I don't mm. have to I don't have to spell everything out, you know, read and mm. you know, and get a sense of what it was. Who's the greatest romantic in, in the scriptures? Let's see, I think it was Solomon. And that brother was mm. putting it down hard Solomon. and heavy. But you still mm. had to read between the lines. That's right. That's right. Okay. You, that's your mind. That's right. Okay. Take it to another level. There that's you what go. it's all that's about. How you do it. Yeah, like you said, sexy don't have to be <laughs> showing all your goodies. That's yeah, right. I something mean, really. wrong. You better run. <laughs> yep. Yeah, better. that's right. Yeah, good for you, good for you. Now, how challenging has this this business been? I know, I, you know, we went down this road with our family. Uh, we was more in the newspaper um, part of it, and then we kind of, somebody threw it at us, you know, say, hey, you guys doing a newspaper, you could do a poetry book. And next thing you know, more po- poetry books were coming, more than nonfiction, nonfiction, then fiction. Next thing you know, my brother and I, we sitting around trying to kick out 10 books a month and uh, providing other services, artwork, stuff like that. So what's the challenge, you know, having a business well, like this? Well, the challenge service? is, um, for the most part, um, I don't have to worry about people and and um, sticking to their goals, sticking to a schedule. Now that's mm-hmm. another discussion. Uh-huh. Um, I don't bite off more than I can chew. You know, I got approached by Google, as I'm sure mm-hmm. everybody who's listening, who has you know uh, internet business. Um, would you like to be number one? You know, when people look up publishing companies, I was going, Mm. absolutely not, (laughs) because I don't want Google to put me up front and, you know, and then I'm getting so much business that I'm ruining my reputation, because that ain't going to happen. See, I stick with what I can do, and I do that very well, because I'm not into the numbers. I'm into the quality. That's right, and very important. And and so the challenge um, is, the challenge for myself is to stay on target, stay on point, stay true, and everybody is special. Every number one person is number one. Mm, um, the challenge yeah. um, for the um, the challenge for uh, me is to make sure that everybody stays on point and. Um, I've not to this point, you know, run into anything really large. I remember mm. the first book that I did, though, um, I had, oh, man, I, I missed a section of errors. But mm. you know what? I wouldn't let her take the fall. You know what I did? I bought her books. I just, I just wow. bought her some more books. We cleaned up the mistake, and we just bought her some more books. Yeah. Because... Um, I, I heard I heard someone tell their story. I think it was um, Saturday, Friday. This woman spent seventy five hundred dollars um, to get her book published, and she had mm. she had so many mistakes, and it was just in the preface alone that had mm. so many errors. And the people who bought the book just could not get through the book, and it's on mm. Amazon and and all this other stuff. And so that. Oh, wow. The testimony that I don't want to have. I want to be thorough in all that we do because, you know, we have a full staff co- um, company. But at the time mm-hmm. I started, we did not. So, um, you know, doing it all alone and, and um, making sure everything is right. But I did miss right. it. did miss it. But I, you know, we, had a, we have a, a money-back guarantee. And yeah. so um, the challenge is not to lose money. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Do it right the first time, you know. Mm-hmm. Now you're offering a lot of 
services, you know, professional services that a lot of people expect to get anyway when they're paying their money. Now, marketing pack, that's important because I remember, and that was the reason why I actually started my first podcast was because after the authors had paid all this money, you know, back then they didn't have the, the, the many on-demand services that you have now. There was only a few places that were offering. A lot of people didn't even know anything about it. And even those printers were having a hard time trying to keep up with the demand for on-demand. And they really didn't want to print no one book or no ten book. They wanted full press run. Now, right, right, right. Now, once they got their book, they had their book signings. They, they invited everybody they know because, you know, the Internet wasn't really what it is today. You know, we had Yahoo groups and MySpace out there, but not like what it is today. They didn't really know what to do. So that's why I said, wow, they, they, they do need somebody to, to have them come on a show and talk about the books to, to a lot of people and, and sell books. Um, marketing, right. how important is that right now? Do your that people understand super, it? You know, duper important because – Chances are you're going to exhaust your family. You're going to mm-hmm. exhaust your work members. You're going to exhaust your, you know, your church family. But if you have, um, if you have a web page, you know, we have a web page because we put um, our new authors. We keep, you know, the authors that are published. But we do, you know, something wonderful on the page for the new authors, and then we give them a. Um, a full packet, the pre-order cards, the business cards, um, you know, the full package um, of print. And then that's why I wanted to start a radio show because not just getting into, um, you know, Amazon and Books a Million um, because you have to have, you know, um, the right, um, the right, uh, 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 the word escapes uh, me right now. Hmm. The right hmm. um, package. Uh, I can't even say the word. Um, anyway, you have to have the right thing to get into their stores because, yeah, um, right. and then they don't give you a lot of shelf life. So mom and pops, you know, stores are, are even though they're almost becoming obsolete. Yeah. But you know, approaching them and um, telling people to use their mouths and to have it in print, it makes the author feel validated, and then it gets the word out. And then mm-hmm. places like the local radio spots and the internet spots, and then the TV spots, and then you know them setting up their own you know genres or their own uh, book clubs or whatever you know, to get the word out and see, and if the book is good, you know, then somebody's going to say, well, have you heard of, what did you read? You know, and then it, it just keeps spreading, you know, mm-hmm. each one reach one. So, yeah, right. marketing is very important. I mean, even if you, well, I wouldn't suggest that you use stick men, but, you know, have a nice graphic artist and, you know, to, you know, put your stuff together, make it look good and professional because a brand is not just, the book it is not just the name it is not just the face it's inclusive of the title and and everything about you and about what you are mm-hmm. that's yeah. right now i'm on your website kingdom builders publications.com uh featured new authors and i'm looking at your authors they, they, they have excellent photographs look professionally done don't look like any selfies and you have well, no, we don't do books. selfie sugar. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no selfie, even though they say selfies are good these days. Uh, you know the I cameras mean, that we have there. Selfies are good if you want to. You know, pass them along <laughs> on the Facebook. But yeah. when we're doing, um, you know, we have a, an in-house photographer, and mm-hmm. I tell everyone, you know, once they get, you know, because we have a, a guideline, and one of the guidelines is you have to have a photo shoot because I have to have fresh frames for the way you look now. Mm. And then I want to advertise that, you know, and we'll do jovial pictures, serious pictures, professional pictures, you know, um, pictures that could simulate um, you at another time. And, um, you know, just make it make it work. That's right. That's right. And they look good on here, too. You got the book covers displayed very nicely. And it, is, it looks really, really good. Oh, don't fool um, me now. Don't fool me now. Go ahead now. Don't fool me now. Excellent, excellent looking website. A A A plus, A plus. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I God think people be being pressed. 
One, and it, and it, this kind of thing make people want to try you out too when they see it, you know, see something professionally done. It looks like you know when you click on that add to cart, the book is going to be delivered. <laughs> you're going to get the book. A heart. <laughs> you're going to get a softback book to your yeah. house, and you're you're not going to be calling them up in, in the answer machines, getting the phone. You're going to get your book. Um, how important? How how important is the customer um, for you, your business? The customer is like God. When someone gives me a call and they say, you know, I've heard about you because I asked them, well, how did you hear about me? You know, just the idea that they would pick up the phone and just dial me mm-hmm. is phenomenal. So, you know, you know, I don't know you, you, if you had any experience with your mother and your grandmother, you know, whenever company comes, I mean, they just go all out, whether... <laughs> You know, whether they knew they were coming, they would have a lot on the stove, or they didn't know they were coming, a lot would be on the stove, and they kept their houses clean. And, I mean, you just felt special when you go to their homes. And, Mm -hmm. I mean, and the way they treated, you know, pastors, I mean, he was like royalty. I never forgot that, the way that made me feel, the way they made them feel. So me as a business owner... That's what I go after. I go after to make the experience pleasant. Not just to be nice and don't produce. Not Mm -hmm. to produce and don't be nice. But inclusive of everything. Because I want to be professional. I want to be, um, you know, I want to be cordial. And I want them to give them an experience that they can run their mouths on. And that they will, when they come back they will bring somebody with me. And that's really how my business began to grow. One person told another person. That person came and brought another person and brought another person. I mean, and that's that's how it works. So yeah. I, I'm grateful that anybody would consider Oluiz. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. now, now, you have something on your website <laughs> I haven't seen in a very long time. You actually have a... Uh, a, 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 cre- a badge from the the, the, Be- the Better Business Bureau, accredited yeah. business. You used yeah. to see that logo displayed on windshield or on window shields, window shields, window well, panes of why businesses. I, why I decided that I wanted the BBB. Mm-hmm. I have gone into businesses that want my green money, right. but wouldn't take the money out of my black hand. I remember mm-hmm. how that made me feel. Wow. Then I would mm. go into businesses that treated me so well, and I would look, and they had the BBB on mm. there. Well, yeah. see, I am a Christian, period. Then I am a Christian business owner. So I need to stand in, because they can't see God, okay? Mm. They can see God in me, but they can't, like, knock on this door and go, I got a complaint for one of your, they can't do that. So right. this is what I've decided. I've decided that I would I would have the Better Business Bureau to stand behind me, and I would stand in the Better Business Bureau so that my work could be validated. Anybody could. I mean, I don't need them because I'm still going to be honest and I'm still going to be truthful and I'm still going to have integrity and I'm still going to be loyal. You know, I'm still going to have all of the mm-hmm. attributes that a human being deserves. But then I wanted to have the Better Business Bureau in case, you know, they didn't search anything else on my page. They go, "Uh uh-huh, she for real. She's she's not a fly by night, you know. That's right. And so that's why, because I wanted them to stand behind me and I wanted to stand in them while I stand on God. That's awesome. You got to live by God's principles. Now. The website is real easy to, to browse through. Um, you, you, good explanation of some of the books, descriptions of some of your books. Um, some of your now, some of the authors you have are they seasoned authors or are, you know first time authors? What's going on with most, most of, your, of the, the majority of your group? Most of the authors have published one to two books. Okay, I am so soon yeah, to have third. an author that will publish her third. Now, all of mm. them, you know, have. All of them have a great line, you know, a great, because I have some poets, too. I even mm-hmm. have a poet contest in my, um, in the organization called the Pen of a Ready Writer Society. I did a 
a contest and had winners from there which created um, the breath of a fresh word. Um, it's a pen of a ready writer anthology. But most of them are, you know, one-time authors, two-time authors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, we're going to have to do a joint venture with your next contest. Oh, and man, that would be so well. Yeah, I'm going have to be winner. directing another one in 2016 because we'll do uh, anthology every other year. And the year oh, that um, opposing to yeah. that will be the arts in March, where we yeah, do, yeah, make me part of uh, that. We celebrate the work of illustrators and artists. Yeah, we would love to be part of that. You know, have the winner come right. on the show, and I won't and, um, forget. Yeah, talk about their victory. That's right. Tell the world yeah. about it. All right. Yeah. Now, when we come back, we're gonna. We're going to get your final thoughts, Louise, but we really appreciate you coming on the show to talk about your business, share your life. It was what a journey. Um, this is a very inspirational story you told today, and I hope you know listeners will really embrace this. Um, some people are stuck in life right now. They don't, know what, they don't know where to go. I mean, you talked a lot about the Lord, about Jesus. You, you, know, you, you didn't sit there and quote scriptures, but we know you read them, and, you, and your loving husband supporting you. With this, with this awesome business. So when we come back, we want to get your final thoughts now. We want you to throw down and give it to them, okay? Sound good? Okay, okay. All right. Sound good. All right, y'all. We talking to Louise Smith. She is the owner and publisher of Kingdom Builders Publication. And we're going to listen to a word from our sponsor, Bill Powells. That's right. Check them out. Think you know how drugs get in those little brown bottles? Think again. Set in the green hills of western New Jersey inside the gilded halls of power of a U.S. pharmaceutical company where decisions are worth billions of dollars and human lives worth less. Nicholas Harding, a young executive at Marshall Pharmaceutical, finds his career, family, and life in jeopardy. The Farmhouse, a suspense thriller novel by Bill Powers, published by Donna Inc. Publications, available at Amazon.com or DonnaInc.org. Go to Bill's webpage at www.authorbillpowers.com. What do you give to a person who has everything? Hi, I'm Darlene Rucker Williams, and I am the owner of Stylish and Seller Gifts by Dar. I get this question all of the time. At Stylish and Seller Gifts by Dar, we specialize in customizing gifts for people and pets too. Our gifts are original and one of a kind. Not only do we deliver, we ship as well. We work according to your budget and your things. We have gifts for all things, including baby showers, sports teams, get well, bridal, birthdays, pets, just because, and that's just the name of you. So let's now and sell a gift by Dar. Take the worry out of your gift giving today and also for the holidays. Our website is www.stylishandseller.com and our phone number is 443-682-5664. Talking to Louise Smith, owner and publisher of Kingdom Builders Publication. All songs played tonight were arranged by her husband, Linton Smith Jr., and herself. 
All right, we appreciate you coming on the show, Louise. You, you, no, I um, thank you very much. appreciate mm-hmm. you for asking me to be on such a prestigious and wonderful show. God bless you. Mm. Oh, listen to you. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate all of that, all that love. All right. All right. Well, so you ready to give it to him? Hey, yeah, listen. I want to encourage everyone to read every day. I want to also encourage you to write every day. And if you want to publish a book, publishing is not hard. All you need is a pencil, paper, computer, and just write your heart first. Don't even try to worry about grammar, um, you know, organization, because those things will come later. You can approach some professional and they will help you, but check them out. Read up on them. Make sure you grab their reviews to make sure that you're getting what you, you you hope to get. And then when you're doing that, consider your audience. Because a lot of times people, they write, and they write, you know, Catholicism. But when you want to entertain your audience or inform your audience, then you don't need to write what you like. You need to write what your audience likes. So that's a tip for today. And um, keep doing what you're doing. And one day, you'll, your name will be great. That's right. Like the great Louise Smith. Kingdom Builders publication. Oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. You had, a, you had a long journey, but a, a good journey. I know you're still traveling that path. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with yes. that. You stay on it. Stay on it. That's right. God is good. He is awesome. Yeah. All right. Like I told you guys, I'm feeling awesome. I am blessed. I am happy. I am Jerry Woods Live. I'm worldwide. Have a good night, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. And don't forget about Spreaker.com forward slash Positive Power 21 for those you want to listen to it on your smartphones and mobile devices at work or at school. You can download that at Spreaker.com. Look for Jerry Woods Live or Positive Power 21. Or you can stay out on our website on your laptop or your PC and enjoy all our shows streaming. And all the episodes, you got the, the hair show, the hair morning show with Harry Kynes. You got Beverly Fell Smith. Uh, she uh, teaches you how to do positive thinking. Then we got Justice Clark coming soon. He uh, he comes in with deep, deep conversations. He'll be coming soon. And we got Tea Time coming, y'all, from Hollywood. And she can't wait. And we got uh, Michelle uh, Armin coming also. Edmonds, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting she said her name was like Babyface. <laughs> we got Michelle Emmons coming. She's going to bring a holistic approach to wellness. It's like to talk to you about how to take care of your body, the, the body that God gave you, so you can stay on this earth for a little while longer so you can carry out your, your mission. That's right, your mission for God. All right, y'all, like I said, I'm Jerry Voice Live. I'm worldwide. Thank you for tuning in to Jerry Voice Live on PositivePower21.org and Spreaker.com forward slash PositivePower21. This is a Voice Enterprises production. And don't forget about replay on Facebook.com forward slash Jerry Voice Live. All right, everybody. Y'all stay awesome all week long. That's a wrap.